This is the video for your notes on fraction division, or SOL 6.6a. It covers pages 51 through 52 in your notebook. You'll need a pencil and highlighter to complete these notes. Fraction division is very similar to fraction multiplication, and you need to get both of the numbers into fractional form before you can start. Proper fraction, you'll leave it alone, but if it's a mixed or whole number, you need to convert it to an improper fraction. Let's look at some examples below. One and a half is a mixed number, so we would need to multiply the denominator and the whole number. So two times one is two, and then two plus one is three, and that is our new numerator and we'll keep the denominator the same. Now 3 halves is, in, is a fraction. 3 fourths is a fraction, so we're going to leave that alone. 4 is a whole number, so when we have a whole number, we write that whole number in the numerator and we put it over 1. Now we have an improper fraction, and it's in fractional form. 3 and 4 fifths is a mixed number, so we're going to do 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 plus 4 is 19. So that's how we get our new numerator, and the denominator stays the same. And now 19 fifths is in fractional form. 7 halves is an improper fraction, so we would leave this, um, we would leave this alone. 4 and 1 fifth is a mixed number, so we would need to do 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 plus 1 would give us 21 for our new numerator. And our denominator is going to stay the same. So 21 fifths is an improper fraction and we converted that mixed number to an improper fraction. Seven, uh, so that is in fractional form now. 17 fourths is an improper fraction, so this we're going to leave alone. 3 tenths is a proper fraction, so we would leave this alone. 2 is a whole number, so we would want to get that into an improper fractional form, and we would write the 2 as the numerator, and we put all whole numbers over 1 to show that we have 2 wholes. Now this is in fractional form. 4 and 5 ninths is a mixed number, and it's not in fractional form. So 9 times 4 is 36, and 36 plus 5 gives us 41. So that's how we get our new numerator, and we are going to keep our denominator the same. So 41 ninths is an improper fraction, and now this is also in fractional form. The biggest difference between multiplying and dividing fractions is once we get them into fractional form, we need to convert it to a multiplication problem using keep, flip, change. You cannot divide fractions in mixed numbers, you can only multiply them. So you need to convert it to a multiplication problem first, before you can multiply. So all of these examples have been put into fractional form. You need to do this before you keep flip and change. And this works because dividing something by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal or multiplying by 1 half. So that's why we're going to be flipping the second fraction and changing it to multiplication. So we're going to keep the first fraction and, re and write it as 3 sevenths. We are going to flip the second fraction, so the 5 in the numerator becomes the denominator, and the 9 in the denominator becomes the numerator, and we're going to change this division sign to multiplication. We are going to keep the first fraction of 2 thirds, and you always keep the first fraction. We are going to flip the second fraction, and 4 ninths becomes 9 fourths, and then we are going to change it to a multiplication problem. We're going to keep the first fraction of 3 fourths. We are going to flip the second fraction, only the second fraction, not the first, 
and 5 thirds beco becomes 3 fifths, and then we're going to change the division to multiplication. Again, we're going to keep the first fraction the same. We are going to flip the second fraction, and 7 thirds becomes 3 sevenths. So we write the reciprocal of 7 thirds, and we're going to change the division to multiplication. Now all of these problems are set up to multiply. Once we get to this step, we're going to follow the rest of the steps the same way that we would if we were multiplying. So everything the same is the same, except when you get them into fractional form, you need to convert it to a multiplication problem, and then you follow all the same steps as you do when multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. So we're going to multiply straight across. We're going to simplify if necessary. And so we have the numerator times the numerator, denominator times the denominator. We're going to simplify if necessary. And then we're going to convert to a mixed or whole number sometimes. Now you can't convert to a mixed or whole number if you have a proper fraction. So if you have improper fractions, then you can convert to a mixed or whole number. So again, everything between multiplication and division is the same, except you have to convert it to a division problem, uh, convert the division problem to a multiplication problem before you can do the multiplication. Because if it's a division problem, you can't multiply when there's still the division sign. We need to follow the five steps that are on the previous page. So step one is to get both of them in fractional form, and they both are fractions already. So we're going to move on to step two, which is changing this to a multiplication problem. So in order to do that, you have to keep the first fraction the same. So we're going to rewrite four-fifths the same way. We're going to flip the second fraction. So 2 fifteenths, we're going to write its reciprocal or 15 halves and then we and then we can change our division problem to a multiplication problem now that step 2 is completed we can move on to step 3 and step 3 is to multiply across the numerators and multiply across the denominators so 4 times 15 gives us 60 for our new numerator and 5 times 2 in the denominator will give us 10 for our new denominator. Step 4 is to simplify. And I see that 60 and 10 both end in 0, so that means that I can divide the top and bottom by 10. So when I divide the top by 10, I get 60 divided by 10 equals 6. And in the denominator, 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. So 6 over 1, or 6 wholes, is how we would write that in fractional form. And when we change our improper fraction to a mixed number or whole number for number 5, we know that 6 wholes can also be written as just 6. For question number 2, we need to get them both into fractional form. So 3 fourths is already in fractional form. 2 needs to be written as 2 over 1 to convert that to a fractional form. And we can't change it to multiplication quite yet. We needed to get it into fractional form before we can do the next step of converting it to a multiplication problem. So step 2 is to keep the first fraction the same. Then we are going to flip the second fraction. And then we're going to change. So we flipped the second fraction, wrote the reciprocal. And then we're going to change that division to multiplication. Now that we've rewritten it as multiplication, then we can do step three, or multiply across the numerators, and then multiply across the denominators. So three times one gives us a new, a new numerator of three. And 4 times 2 gives us a new denominator of 8. So now we're done with step 3. Step 4 is to simplify. And 
there aren't any factors that 3 and 8 have in common, so this is already in simplest form. Step 5 is to convert it to a whole or mixed number. But if this is a proper fraction, then this is less than one whole, so it is impossible to write this as a mixed or whole number. So now we're done with all five steps. Step one is to rewrite both of these numbers in fractional form. And two and four fifths, I can go, there are 10 fifths in two wholes, plus four more fifths gives me 14 fifths. So the first improper fraction can stay the same. And the second number, which is a mixed number, needs to be converted to 14 fifths to write it in fractional form. Now we can keep the first fraction the same. So we rewrite 7 halves. We're going to flip the second fraction and write its reciprocal. So 14 fifths, the reciprocal of 14 fifths is 5 fourteenths. We flip that over and then we change the division to multiplication. Now that we've rewritten it as a multiplication problem, we can do step three and multiply across. So seven times five is, uh, so two times 14 is 28 in the denominator, and seven times five is 35 in the numerator. Now I see that both of those have a factor of seven. So when I do step four, I can simplify by dividing the top and bottom by seven. So 35 divided by seven, so 28 divided by seven is four, and 35 divided by seven is five. Now we're done with step four. Step five is to convert our simplified improper fraction to a mixed number. So I can divide that, or I can kind of do the backwards U-turn and figure out what the whole number and numerator is when I know that the denominator is going to be 4, and I would go 4 times 1 would give me 4, and 4 plus 1 more would give me that 5. So I know that 1 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 5 fourths. So I converted that to a mixed number. For number four, I'm going to rewrite both numbers as fractions. And a whole number can be written over one. And a mixed number, I can do that U-turn and do two times four is eight, and eight plus three is 11. So two and three fourths becomes 11 fourths. Notice that I'm not changing the division sign. This is not the step that we change. Step two is when we change it to multiplication. So we keep the first fraction the same, and we flip the second fraction. So 11 fourths becomes 4 elevenths. And then we change the division to multiplication. Now we've changed it to multiplication. We're done with step two. And step three is to actually multiply. So I'm going to multiply across the numerators and across the denominators. And 6 times 4 is 24. 1 times 11 is 11. So 24 elevenths is my answer. And step 4 is to simplify. Well, the only number that goes into 11 is 11. And I know 24 is not a multiple of 11. So 24 elevenths is going to be your final fractional form answer. If I try to do the U-turn to see what I would, what numbers go in those boxes to give me 24 elevenths, I can change it to a mixed number for step five. So I know 11 times two is 22, plus two more would give you 24. So 24 elevenths is equivalent to two and two elevenths, or your final mixed number answer. And now we're done with step Step one is to rewrite both of these mixed numbers as uh, improper fractions. So we need to change them to fractional form. 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 plus 1 is 10. So I have 10 thirds. Make sure we rewrite this as a division problem. We haven't changed it yet. And 9 times 2 is 18, plus 2 more is 20. So that becomes 20 ninths. Now we're done rewriting them as fractions. And part two is when we keep, flip, change, or use KFC. 
So we kept the first fraction the same. We're going to flip 20 ninths and rewrite it as 9 twentieths, and then we're going to change the division to multiplication. Step three is to multiply across the numerators and then across the denominators. So 10 times 9 is 90, and 3 times 20 is 60. So we have 90 sixtieths, and if they both end in 0 for step 4, I can simplify by dividing the top and bottom by 10. So when I divide 90 by 10, I get 9, and 60 divided by 10 is 6. I see that the, uh, 9 and 6 are both multiples of 3, so I could divide them both by 3 to get 3 halves is my final simplified fractional answer, and that's an improper fraction. So if it's an improper fraction, I can convert it to a mixed or whole number. So I know that 2 is going to be the denominator, and 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 more half would give me 3 halves. So 1 and a half is equivalent to 3 halves. First step is always to get both numbers. So now we're done with uh, number 5. The first step for number 6 is always to get both numbers into fractional form. So I'm going to change this mixed number by doing 7 times 5 is 35, and 35 plus 3 more is 38. So now I have 38 sevenths. Two wholes can be rewritten. Remember to bring down the division sign. We're just rewriting the numbers now, and 2 is rewritten as two wholes. Now you can start changing it, and I'm going to keep the first fraction the same and rewrite 38 sevenths as it is. I'm going to flip 2 over 1 to make 1 half, or, it's re or writing its reciprocal, and then I change the division to multiplication. Now step 3 is to multiply across the numerators and denominators. And 38 times 1 is 38, and 7 times 2 is 14. So step 4 is to simplify, and I see that I can divide the top and bottom by 2. They have a common factor of 2. So 38, uh, 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 38 divided by 2 is 19. 19 and 7 have no common factors, so I'm done with step 4, and I don't have to simplify anymore. 19 sevenths is going to be your final fractional answer, and that's an improper fraction. So I could go on to step 5 and convert that improper fraction to a mixed number. So I know that it would end up being 19 sevenths, so 7 times 2 would give me 14, really close to 19, and I would have to add 5 more to get 19. So I see that 2 and 5 sevenths would be my final mixed number answer.